appreciation of the respective parties' business objectives. Everyone works as part of a bigger picture, and it's really important that that is taken into account in all discussions between agencies and clients. It's absolutely crucial that both parties make a really big effort to understand the other's business, understand how they work, what their goals and aspirations are. You've got to have trust. You've got to have honesty and I think you've got to have respect for the relationship too. Because it's a relationship, it's like any relationship, it's like a marriage, you know. You've got to invest time in it, you've got to trust each other, work with each other and really sweat it to make it work well and hard and be really effective. Spark and innovation. Innovation on both sides, so always having new ideas, always having a bit of spark and making sure that everyone's got energy to bring the relationship alive every single day. I probably adapt what John le Carre said when he said that a desk is a dangerous place from which to view the world. I would say a meeting room, a conference room, a boardroom is a dangerous place from which to view the world. Agencies and clients should get out there more. On the shop floor, with consumers, visiting different businesses and industries and immerse themselves in the world as much as possible. A poor client-agency relationship tends to be one where cynicism set in where it's gone low energy and everybody's in a constant state of anxiety. A lack of trust is a big issue, or often when the agency is trying to sort of outthink or outdo the client, so not really thinking about the consumer, the insight or the problem, just trying to win awards, be overly clever, uh, be too intriguing and not actually connect with the issue at hand. Uh, I think Sometimes there can feel, or in the past I've felt this, you know, a, a sort of a divergence of, of goals and aims and what success looks like. Uh, I think if you can establish a really strong sense of shared responsibility, shared success and shared failure, so a lack of blame, then that for me makes a really strong relationship. An ongoing problem with client agency relationships is this dreaded subject of remuneration where nobody seems to have cracked what it is and it seems to be a constant sore. <laughs> Uh, that festers away uh, in relationships. I, I expect with smaller client agency relationships it's less of a problem, but certainly with the, with the big guys globally it seems to be a never-ending problem working out remuneration. It's impossible now just to work with one or two agencies. There's so many different specialities and something I always struggle with is the lack of communication and the lack of joined up thinking within the agency team. I appreciate as a client that's our job to make that work, but the sort of you know, lack of need to always one agency to lead, creating absolute synergy and, and one thought that's central within each agency thinking so it comes from one place. I think the thing I change about clients and agencies working together in the current climate is encouraging agencies to work together more collaboratively in the age of integration. Integration is hugely important for all clients and I think agencies really need to try and get on board with integration more and see some benefits from it rather than constantly feeling like it's a competition for work.